What's up, guys? Time for the Taro video for DX9's breakdown. And we're going to take him back to his nice Lamborghini Countach mode. So we're going to go ahead and remove the hand. Or the gun. You can move the gun, actually. You don't have to remove the hand. Although that might be handy. I don't know. All right. And so we're going to just start up here by removing that panel and swiveling the hands now i actually prefer to kind of do it that way give a little bit more room for the thumb i think it'll still go no matter what but that feels like it gives significantly more room and then do the same thing on this side boop like that untab that from the back of the elbow do the same thing on that side and it's funny i started on the hands without realizing i need to do the head and chest first but that's okay give me a second here gotta get the back of the car figured out yeah all right so we need to unplug the chest piece right here which is very thoroughly plugged in if i'm honest with you so unless you have incredibly strong nails i suggest a plastic pry tool such as a spudger okay and then we're going to Flip the head in, pull the shoulders down and out. So you had this big post that was going into there, and you don't, you can't resecure the rest of it if that's all still plugged in. So like that, and then, wow, what is? I didn't realize that was legitimately locking that in place. That's the first time I've seen that. Okay, interesting. Well, maybe it's not a problem on this side. Either way. Um, is this... Yes. Okay, so now we need to push this down. So the entire bit here needs to slide down. And then we will push that back in. And we're going to rotate the arms to where... The joint is exposed right here. And then we're going to rotate that. Because it doesn't go back up there, right? No, it has to, right? Now I'm confused. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so let's leave that open for a second, because I could have sworn. And then we want to... No, 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 no. It does go that way. That part has to be exposed in the next mode. So this can collapse up like that. Oh, that tabs in right there. Okay, sorry. I never noticed the detail that that would tab in like that. And what helps is there's kind of a wheel wheel arch there let you know that that's where the tire is supposed to end up sorry i've done this transformation a few times but he is the newest one so i have the least amount of experience with him okay so from here we need to pull up the roof extend it rotate it and just sort of have it out of our way to be honest <clears throat> and for the front end here, we need to rotate this bit that way. We need this to get out of our way. This will rotate forward, so we're going to line up all the blue bits is what's happening here. But, oh, hold on, I can't get that. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get that in place with all this locked in. Like I said, least amount of times transformed. Okay, so leave this untabbed for now. Jeez. Sorry, guys. It be like this sometimes. So we can bring this around. Basically, we're going to form up the front of the car. We need to bring this piece up, which I'm going to be honest with you, is always unsettling. So we fold that down, and we bring this around, and that will line up like that and then the 
hood and whatnot comes down and there is a tab that fits in right there that is undoubtedly going to get ridiculously scratched up if you do this too many times okay so let's do this again from this side rotate at the bicep line that up we're already kind of good over here but let's get this out of the way we need the hood facing upward flip her around for room basically line that up and so you can see it better here this tab will go into there this tab is going to go into there and you already see there's a big chip missing right there so that sucks okay one of these is way more stiff than the other so the cool thing is that locks the elbow from moving so bring the hood down rotate this guy around and flip it into there and now we line up our tabs and everybody's good now we close this up making sure that we get under there get under there tab those guys and then finally tab in the chest piece so sorry I'm not 100% at this. I just like just so you guys know that I'm I'm a little bit more real here. You see all the mistakes I make. I could make perfectly good transformation videos like other channels do, but then where's fun in that if you don't struggle? So, let's go ahead. Flip that open cuz you guys are going to struggle just like I do. So, there's no point in hiding that. Difficulties worth remembering where stuff goes. So, flip that up, untab that piece from there. You don't have to get the door out of the way, but it, it, I feel like it's better if you do. Come down to the front piece here. Flip the heel over the toe. And then this is going to end up in this spot here. Like so. So this builds up part of the car. This builds up part of the car. And we're happy Daisy like that. And we're going to bring this up. We're going to rotate this 180. Wait, we're going to rotate all of it 180. Because this is the bottom of the car. Flip that in like that. Um, maybe I was wrong. Maybe the legs don't rotate 180. Because I was like, wait a minute. I'm missing something here. Does the crotch need to go? What? Because that's... Yeah, so the torso has to rotate, I guess. No, I thought this was facing down. Eh, maybe not. Maybe I'm an idiot. I mean, more than likely, I'm an idiot. Okay, so that's down like that. Which, by the way, we need to come in here, pull this out. Slide it up and lock it back into place. Okay, so that made more sense. Yep. All right, so now we have our car doors. Oh, yeah, we have to extend this all the way. And we basically make an entire Lamborghini side, like you do. And then now this rotates in to fill in this gap in the thighs, you know, the thigh gap, as it were. And then Hinge, ball joint, and we'll bring that around. We're not going to close it up just yet. Okay, so let's do that again, this time with a little bit more making sense. Flip that up. Flip that out. Sort of get that a little out of the way. Metal heel up. Plastic toe down. Rotate all of that. And fit it right into there. That is pointy, by the way. Be careful. Okay, and then we're going to rotate that 180. That's going to go inward. This is going to go forward, and we're going to close that up at the end. Out. Swing all this out and flip it up and in. And then we're going to bring this down like so. And then we need these pieces to come out. 
this will lay down eventually, but what we need to do is the back end of the car here needs to slide up right here, this whole metal panel, and then you can fix the tail panel there. Bring all this down like so. As you do that, go ahead and tab in all these bits to the side of the car. Don't that won't lock into place until the legs are totally secure as the sides of the car. So once you get all of that kind of lined up proper, which it's not doing. Oh, what happened here? There, okay. And then something right here is being wonky. There it goes. Okay. Weird. I usually, usually don't have the, that issue. Okay, so now all this will come down. Kind of push down into place. So that's now covering the tail panel. And we'll swing this up. We got tabs here. And we'll go into there. And that will solidify what's left of the car mode. And there we go. Lamborghini mode. Yeah, very nice, very nice. And once again, guys, if you haven't watched the actual review, make sure you go watch that along with the combiner video on how we get this guy into combined mode. And there's also a breakdown mode or a breakdown video from Minnesota to the vehicle modes. So there you go. That's it. So uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe thing. Check out the entire DX9 playlist of all different DX9 stuff, including this particular playlist. And uh, remember, as always, to transform and roll out. Oh, wow, he rolls good. <laughs>